Okay, we can keep this. Kumano or Initiate on one? It's pretty interesting. I think I want to go Kumano here, actually. Want to take the Mulligan? Yeah, we're going to do it. Even though we take some extra damage. I think it'll be better. Um, a 3-3 Benalia. It's pretty annoying to deal with. That can become indestructible. We have plenty of land to drop off as well. Okay, opponent on Azorius. So we have so much land, we really don't need to drop the portal. Let's plan to never play it, or maybe discard it to um, Benalia, something like that. And two. Okay, Jeskai. Sure. Flip the Kumano. Play out the pass, get in there for some damage. They have Exile in this color combination? Not really. We could probably um, enlist the Benalia, unless they try to remove it right now. Okay, they fires there. Nope, don't want to do that. Okay. Kumano goes down. So they eat three here. We play out the Initiate. A lot of land in hand. Hopefully we can use it just to protect the Benalia and go the distance that way. Turn three for Jeskai Control. Do nothing again, okay. Hell, it might even um, just cycle so Ken's in here and get in for damage. I think that's the way. We're completely uh, <laughs> out of gas. Um, let's at least enlist one of these guys. Okay. Try to get that scry. Try to get out of some land. Cool. I mean, both those are better than land. So, we'll take them. When it drops to eight... Even if they have the Sweeper, the Benalia is going to stick around. And we'll have the Raiju on top. So this could be lethal this coming turn. Sounds like Reverie. Alright, that's pretty good for them. As far as things go, that's not that bad. Okay. So two mana open potentially for Make Disappear. We probably have to go for this anyway. There's a question of if we play these uh, lands out at all. We know the next card is Benalia. We don't really have any use for mana for a little bit. Let's just start with the Raiju here. I'm okay taking that extra point of damage. Syncopate, okay. Hope they're all tapped out now. I think we keep scrying over that extra point of damage. So we'll go enlist here. Do it like that. Enlist you. Okay. Yep, we'll put the land on the bottom. We'll just keep all the creatures we can right now. But Alia's really not bad. Chump there, and they don't, they want to save uh, one for the next chump lock, I guess. I think we'll end here. We know what our next card is. There's no reason to deploy extra lands at the moment. Unless we want to hopefully initiate a enchantment. Bank Buster, okay. Well, that is an initiate target. But they cannot power it up for the time being anyway. Okay. I do wonder in settings here. Let's see. Uh... Oh, well, this is this already turned off. Okay, fine. Okay, here we come. I think we continue to run the same trick here. Keep scrying away lands. Thalia is okay. Kamano is okay. I mean, it's not awful. I don't know that we need Kumano, per se. Let's keep the Thalia. Okay, jump there. And I guess they want to take the draw with the Bank Buster. It's fine. Don't know how they get out of this. Burn down the house does not do it. Okay, yep, they take the draw. They drop to four. So we actually can take out the bank buster if we really want to. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. Versus just keeping as much power on the battlefield as possible. Just end here. I'm not sure it's worth it to... um. Remove the counters just to take out the bank buster. 
So what can they get? Even if they play Leer, they can't replay anything this turn. Farewell. That'll do it. Exile all creatures. Okay. Uh, leave artifacts. We might as well do this now, then. All right. Game is no longer over. Creatures and graveyards all exiled. We start off with Athalia, but... Yeah, okay. Game is not over at all. If they drop Horror, I'm going to be sad. We have to try this. Hmm. We should have played out the Thrawn Portal. We do not have a uh, Mage Spear mana. It lands initially, at least. Let's see if they let us move to attackers. I wonder if they play Horror here. We're about to find out. Put the counter there. It is the Horror. <laughs> but we actually get there anyway. Damn. <laughs> Welp, that was a close one. That was definitely a close one. Two lander. We got some moves, though. Ooh, Crystal Grotto. What are we up against today? One to the bottom. Start the planes. Red. Mono red crystal grotto. Okay. Well, we'll definitely drop the Benalia then. Super annoying to deal with. Alright. Good luck removing that. Third land. As long as it's not a 3 3. A uh, hasty werewolf would be the most annoying thing right now. It's a Phoenix chick. Alright, that gets super damage. See if they offer us the trade. That'd be really interesting. They actually do, which you're more than happy to take here. So we'll block you. Who are we dropping off? Uh, we could even drop off backup Benalia. I mean, it's so good against them, right? Firebrain can trade with things that Benalia can't. Let's assume we don't need the next Benalia. In this first one, six round for the rest of the game, it does everything we needed to do. We go again, but we can do this again. Now what? No guaranteed. I mean, everything's pretty good. I think we actually dropped the Raiju here, as sad as that is. Who knows how many turns away it is. All right. Benalia doing the thing. Cool. Next land. I don't know if we burn the Brutal Cathar here. I think we instead uh, drop the Firebrand. Save the Cathar for a more impactful target, like a Raiju, for example. Hit him for two. No guarantee what they do this turn. Squee comes down. Okay. I think we're trading with that guy for sure. Yep. Yeah, I think we just get this guy out of the way early. Snowing it as it is. Is that uh, only creatures? Let's see. Four other cards. All right. So they need some more. I think we initiate Firebrand this turn. And keep attacking. Again, I'm saving the Cathar for a more worthy target. Squee would have been a pretty good target. Though they do have plenty of removal in the deck, most likely, so Cathar may die quite quickly. Shivan Devastator for X equals 2. Okay. It is some unblockable firepower in the air. Okay, no blocks. It's a pretty good Cathar target, though. Valorous Stance. All right, well, don't need to do this until after combat. We'll get in there with everyone. Train up. Uh, sure, you cannot block. When it drops to nine, we play out the Cathar here. Auto pay. Take the Devastator. End here. We have a 2-2 blocker for the 1-1. One, one. Fourth land. We'll see if we see a Raiju to the face. That's probably our worst fear. Okay. It is a Raiju to the face, in fact. The question is, can we win on the crackback? Sure. So. This is 5 damage. Drop us to 3. 
We make you unblockable. We have lethal. Oh, they're not attacking with the chick, are they? They're just attacking with the Raiju. Um, so we make... Oh, the chick can't block, though. Yeah, so that's game. So no blocks here. Okay. Take three. My turn. We hit a land. Let's play Adeline anyway. But that is game. Chick cannot block. I think it's maybe what they missed there. So just make use. So you can't block. Okay. Nicely done. It's not ideal, but it is acceptable. Alright. Up against Rakdos. So Thalia could be pretty good. Rakdos, nothing on two. So, we could play out Thalia. But if they have Voltage Surge, we'll feel pretty bad. The Benalia is going to be quite annoying for them to deal with. If they plan to use removal this turn, they're only going to um, go one for one with a card in our hand. We keep the board presence. Decide to go face instead. So be it. Alright, so this might actually be Rakdos aggro. Um, maybe some kind of vampire aggro. One to the bottom, sure. Into here. Okay, third land. Stormseeker, it is in fact Rakdos aggro. So it could block and drop off a card if it really wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary just yet. So we'll eat three here. No blocks. Down to 15. We do not hit lands. We only have Thalia. Uh, yeah, I think we stay back here. Defend as best we can. Good block with both the Banalia and the Thalia this turn, potentially. Nope, they remove Thalia immediately, so be it. They're all tapped out. They get to pull the same trick. Again, we could block if we wanted to. Drop off one of these red cards. It's not the worst. We'll give it one more turn. No blocks. Down to 12. Okay, my turn. It is a playable. No attacks again. There's, of course, the argument of... Uh, yeah, it's tough. Okay. Um, if I'm not going to attack... If I'm not going to block anyway, then I should just be attacking. But it's hard to say. So they make you a 4-3. Attack with both. Okay. So what do we most need to deal with here? I think we take out the Trespasser here. Block like this. Not sure why, uh... Alright, we'll drop off one of these Kumanos, I guess. It's fine. Two damage. Okay, so we're down to nine. Land. Pain land. What is a land? The autumn red. And we drop the Cathar here, I think. Take their creature. Drop to eight. We don't have to attack here. We could wait for another Trespasser. But there are only so many things we're going to block anyway. Let's hit him for one. One attack, rather. If they go another Hasty Storm Seeker, it's going to feel bad. Because we could have blocked that and dropped off another card. But if they go Raiju, we probably weren't going to block anyway. So we're going to eat four eight this turn. Yep. Okay. Down to four. We drop the Peacekeeper here. Lightning Strike. Oh, we just lose. I mean, we uh, if they hit land. No, we just lose. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fun. Uh, okay. Never had a chance at all this game. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's see if we can get it up while it's on the stack. Are they going to attack first? Come on, just use Lightning Strike. That's cool. Okay, sure. Take... Why are they doing this? Just kill it with Lightning Strike. They have the mana for it, it doesn't matter. They're like a cat. Uh, toying with us, unnecessarily. Just end it all.
Really? I wonder if they'll wait till our turn. Don't use... Okay, I thought about to use it on the Brutal Cathar. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. It's definitely a little bit sus. It's not awful, though. Start here. There's a good chance it works out. Any land at all by turn three is quite good. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll leave you for now. Play out the Banalia. Okay. Gets in there under um, Counterspell at least. Okay. Great. So we'd like for the... Um, okay. We are bottlenecked on red here. Attack first. Hit him for two. So we'll probably try Kumano here. Because the Firebrand will go through make the Spear anyway. So we'll just try to nab them for one. Okay, down to 17. Impulse, sure. Better than getting countered. They slam the Jin. We have the Cathar immediately. But not this turn. Fourth land. That allows us to play out the Raiju after or the uh, Firebrand. Probably not going to run the Raiju into the Counterspell. So we'll attack here first. A Fading Hope You. Interesting. Okay. That means they want to counter it on the way back, I guess. One to the top. Who do we most want to stick between the Firebrand and the Banalia? I guess the Indestructible could be useful at some point. It's going to come in as a 3 3. This is going to come in as a 4 1. I guess that's even better because it can trade with the Jin. So we'll try you first. And if they have um, Essence Scatter, so be it. If they don't, though. All right. Well, we'll try the Banalia. See if we Essence Scatter this one. Impulse is dead. All right. That's quite good for us. So now we have a Firebrand that's a 4 2 and can actually trade with the Jin. That's huge for us. Plus, the Banalia can enlist if they tap out. But, yep, here comes the Jin. So, we can attack with the Firebrand and force them to try to use. Let's see. How do we do it? If we just attack with the Firebrand, I think we try the Cathar before combat. If they want to counter it, so be it. We can still get in there with an enlisted Banalia. So about the back. Alright, it cannot block this turn. So we're going to get in for a lot of damage here. Hold you back. Ah, did I... Ah, shit. Fuck that up. That sucks. My bad. Needed to specifically have selected the Banalia for enlist. That was the throw. Keller comes down, fine. Hit us for five. Interesting. I guess they have backup Terror or Jin on the way. Okay. Adeline's okay here. So what are they going to do this turn? I think we can start with a... Hmm. We could drop Adeline before combat. It's fine with me. See if they want to counter it. I take a thirst instead. Okay, spell pierce and backup thirst down. I wonder if they run the uh, one mana instant untap spell. Well, we'll find out pretty soon here. Slam the attack all button. If you get an extra attacker off the Adeline. Delver cannot block off the Firebrand. Can they untap the Jin? Not yet. They take a Consider. They drop off there an Island. Take an Impulse. All tapped out. Alright. So I guess the question is, can they get up to 13 damage this turn? And flip, and or flip? It's definitely possible. I guess not. <laughs> Yeah, huge mistake with the Banalia. I meant to enlist there, but hit attack all, and then it skips the next step. On the play, keep this for sure. Not sure if we're going to want to go Banalia or Firebrand. 
black. Duress. No creatures for you. Okay, that feels good. I think Benali is going to be a bit better here because... Um, let's see. Yeah, we can do this now. Because the indestructible effect is going to be quite good against them. Unless they have cut down, I guess. But at least against Infernal Grasp, it'll be good. Okay. Cool. That's good. Um, yeah, we can attack first and then reveal this after the fact. Hit him for two. Take their three drop. We'll play you out on red for sure. Attempt a Peacekeeper here. Could also go Kumano plus Firebrand, but this is definitely not bad. We'll try to cut you down. Destroy target. Oh, it's not minus anyway. Okay, we'll drop off... Uh, we can double spell next turn. Let's drop off you. Okay. Six around. Burn down the house. Get plenty of mana. Could leave Liliana around. Take the Fable. I guess burn down the house will basically destroy us if they get to turn five. Can we win by turn five? We don't have the next land to do so. We might take burn down the house here. Interesting, but I don't know if we can win by that turn unless we definitely hit the land for the Raiju. So I think I'd rather take this off the table and give him the Fable instead. Especially if we have to spend a turn attacking down Liliana. Play Fable here. Yeah, okay. All right. We could save Kumano. Um, here comes the Raju. Could save Kumano for when they... Uh, what's her face? Liliana. Eat it all. Okay. All right. Let's see what they got. So they Liliana this turn if they want to, and we probably drop off the Benalia. Worth land, one turn away. Yep, that's fine. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. I do think we drop off the Benalia here. Nope. Resolve. Drop you off. We get to pick off Liliana for free with Kumano. More land, not what you want to see. Okay. So we go face here. Sure, put the counter here. Get that extra point of damage. This has lethal presented. Take the block, drop to four. Drop Kumano. Liliana goes down. Not that it really matters, but it is done. Um, yeah, we'll play this out just in case they have more discard. All right, there's the board state. You need a non burn down the house to answer it. Or two blockers. Or blocker removal, something. But. Okay, that's one blocker. Two mana left open. But as long as the firebrand sticks around, they cannot block with one of these. Harvester. Alright, I think we get there then. Sure, not that it matters, but um, here we come. Uh, you cannot block. You get a counter. Two damage. Two to the face. Boom. Roasted. Pretty bad hand on the play. I don't think we can keep that. Oh, dude. Why? Oh, man. Okay. Sure. Great. Okay. Keep five. Who's better? I don't know if we can afford to discard anything. If you wanted to make you indestructible. And I guess the Raiju. Just guarantee... Here we go land here. Everything has to work out. We have to hit land. And we have to curve out. Swamp Sleeper. Not a good start. Alright, we hit land. So we've done the first part of this. So we can at least go Firebrand into Peacekeeper. Let's see if the Shuffler is merciful after an absolutely merciless opening two hands. They attack us. No blocks. We gotta get there. Trading is not an option. Removal does not feel good either. Okay, we hit the land for the Raiju. So we're doing the absolute best we can here. Eaten alive. Trespasser. Do they have the land? They only have two lands. 
Let's just hope they don't hit the next land. Right? Again, everything has to go right this game. If we're going to multi-five. So they're not going to hit land here. They're just going to be stuck. Okay, eaten alive. All right. And it's a lone Raiju to go the distance. We can Sokenzen next turn. This is it. This is the game right here. They have to get stuck on two lands. And uh, we have to draw something other than land. <laughs> oh, they might have actually gotten stuck. Let's go. We're in this, boys. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Uh, Sure. Okay, take a free block there. When it drops to nine. Uh, we'll hold this to play next turn. Makes the Adeline at least bigger. They do hit their third land drop. They can play the Trespasser. Eaten alive. Okay, fine. We still have a decently big Adeline. Peacekeeper's very good. Probably play that instead, for sure. Unless we have lethal. So that's four, five, six, seven damage. Right? That's not lethal. Eight damage. Almost lethal. Wow, very tempting. Hmm. Um, what happens if they play Soar and get a Vampire? I think we play the Beastkeeper here. It's close. Invoke Despair. All right, well, they only have the Trespasser. Nice. Let's go. Multi-5 for the win. Heck yeah, boys. Cool. That looks like a keep to me. We have to decide if we go Firebrand or Banalia on two. If they have lots of removal, we'll probably go Banalia if they're more aggressive. Um, I go Firebrand. Okay. Well, we still don't know. Firebrand levels up the Initiate more per turn. Let's try it. So we go red here. Take a little damage. Still no information. Boros is a pretty rare deck. Boros aggro, rather, is a pretty rare deck, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was Jeskai or something else, but... Nope. Okay. Well, there it is. Can go Adeline, Banalia, or, or sorry, Mono, Banalia, or just Adeline. I think we just get the Adeline down. Shove through some damage. When it takes the trade with the Firebrand, that means we continue to pump the Initiate with the Adeline, unless they have more removal this turn. No, that's it. We're probably stuck on two lands. I don't know. Welcome to the post-game deck tech. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider dropping a like, a subscribe, and maybe even a comment. Keep that algorithm bumping. Boros Aggro, probably a downgrade from Mono White Aggro. If for no other reason, then we're taking a hit to the mana base, right? Some opening hands, you're just going to have all red lands and all white spells, and you're going to say, dang, should have just played one color. But that's right. We do get a couple upgrades over Mono White. I'd say the biggest one is that we get access to Kamano Faces Kakazan, another fantastic one drop. In addition to the Initiate, uh, Mono White Aggro does not have anywhere close to a second good one drop, right? The next thing is the Hotshot mechanic, just a Flat out one mana two one. Kumano is quite a bit better than that. Additionally, Kumano into Firebrand is a menace to deal with. Having a four two creature that makes all of your opponents three power under creatures like Tenacious Underdog unable to block is a huge swing that is really tough to, to beat. And uh, if they do not have removal for the Firebrand, you can close out games extremely quickly by making all their creatures unable to block, or at least their biggest ones unable to block. We also pick up Squee. I think this is a downgrade from Adeline in. 97% of cases, but uh, I can put on some fast pressure. It gives that, you know, red touch to the deck. And also, I do like that it come, can come back from the graveyard, which doesn't happen very often, but could be a nice addition to the deck. And then the other big upgrade, hmm, I wouldn't call it necessarily an upgrade, but certainly at an equivalent power level to the Paragon and the Intrepid Adversary, which we lost in the two-drop slot, is the Raiju. This card can, of course, come down in end games extremely quickly. So anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.